What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to teach you and I'm going to show you how to use the MACD indicator in Python. I'm so glad I can say this because this was something that I truly wanted to do for a very long period of time. So, what do we need in order to use that? First of all, we need to load the technical analysis library, which is this one. You just put this command even in Windows or in Linux and I think also in Mac OS and you have this library. So once you have that installed, we can go here and we can check how to do that. As we can see here, I'm describing again the candle data frame that I implemented and is using this from tick to candle function, which is very simple. Let me do a zoom in this, which is very simple. So this is the the data frame that we have and we are going to use this column which is the close column so now we are going to use this technical analysis library and to be specific we are going to use the trends uh, macd so here you have the command to install that and here as you can see first we import that uh, macd and then we use the MACD in order to create an object with all the information of the MACD. So for example, here I'm using the data frame that I created and I'm sending to this uh, MACD function, I'm sending the column of the close. Like you can do it with the column of the open or whatever, but I'm doing it with the column of the close. So here we have a MACD object, but this is not uh, still the lines. Like we have all that information here, but in order to have that and to have and compute that information, we have to take the object. And for example, if we want to take the MACD line, what we do is that we call, we have the object and we call the method MACD. So here created the MACD line. And as you can see, it's a data frame with one column that simply has the values of the MACD based on the values of the clause that you put it here. So uh, here I'm showing this and here you have the signal line of, well, here you obtain the signal line and again, you have to use the MACD object and instead of putting MACD, you just put here MACD signal. So the signal line is this. And as you are going to see here, this is the MACD, MACD plot. So. This is how you create and load uh, the MACD indicator in Python. And as you have seen, it is very, very, very simple. Again, this file is here, the from tick to candle file. And remember that this creates a, a data frame with the close column. So if you want to use that, you are free and you can do that. So if you understood how to create the MACD indicator, give it a like, share, subscribe, and see you in the next one. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh.